So how do quadcopters and multicopters fly anyways? They depend on the flight controller and the ESCs, or the electronic speed controllers, to vary the speed or the RPM on each of the motors in order to have the aircraft respond according to the pilot's desires. In this video, I'm going to assume that you already understand some of the basics, such as thrust and lift and gravity, and we're going to look more specifically at roll, pitch, yaw, and cause and effect. So, what is roll? Well, the roll axis travels down the center of the quadcopter from front to back. In order to have the quadcopter or multicopter roll around the roll axis in, th in this fashion, then the ESCs and the flight controller must speed up the motors on this side and decrease the motors on this side in order to have the aircraft roll like that. Likewise, if we want the aircraft to roll around the roll axes in this fashion, then the motors on the right side must increase and the motors on the left side must decrease. And that will give us that type of a roll. Now how about pitch? The pitch axes travels across the body of the quadcopter in more of a left to right fashion. Now, in order to pitch forward or roll around the pitch axes so that we can travel forward, the ESCs must speed up the rear motors and decrease the speed of the front motors so that we maintain a position like this. In order to move forward, then once we are in this position, the ESCs will increase the speed of all four motors and the quadcopter or the multicopter will travel forward. Likewise, if we want to travel in reverse or roll around the pitch axes towards the rear, then the ESCs must speed up the front mo uh, motors and decrease the speed of the rear motors. Once the quadcopter is in this position then, the ESCs will increase the speed of all four motors and then the travel the quadcopter or the multi or the quadcopter or the multicopter will travel in reverse. Now what about yaw? Yaw the yaw axis travels down the center of the quadcopter and gives the aircraft the ability to travel around the yaw axis in a clockwise or a counterclockwise rotation. So, or left to right. Now, when you use the term left to right, that often confuses people because they think about the aircraft banking to the left in a left-hand turn or banking to the right in a right-hand turn. But that's not what that refers to. To yaw around the, to travel around the yaw axes in a left direction or a right direction, the ESCs must increase the speed of two opposite motors. So for example, let's say I want the quadcopter to travel around the yaw axis in a counterclockwise rotation, then the ESCs would speed up the two counterclockwise motors opposite to one another. So counterclockwise motor, counterclockwise motor will give a counterclockwise rotation. Likewise, if we want the quadcopter to rotate around the yaw axis in a clockwise rotation, the ESCs will speed up the clockwise motors and the quadco quadcopter will rotate to the right or in a clockwise direction. The easiest way to remember the left and right rotation around yaw is to picture the quadcopter hovering and simply turning to the right or turning to the left. 
Now let's talk about cause and effect. If all, of, all four motors were to rotate in a clockwise direction, then what the aircraft would have a tendency to sit and rotate around in a clockwise direction also. If all of the motors were in a counterclockwise rotation, then the quadcopter would also want to rotate in a counterclockwise rotation. Now in order to get stable flight, we have to understand cause and effect. In order to offset the rotation of clockwise motors, then we need an equal number of counterclockwise motors opposite to one another. So for example, if we have a clockwise motor and a clockwise motor, then we also need a counterclockwise motor and a counterclockwise motor opposite to one another in order to achieve stable flight. So there we have it. We understand the basic principles of roll, pitch, yaw, and cause and effect. I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe.